right, so I wanna show you a little bit about the template that you're gonna use when you make your business card. So I'm gonna give you this template here and let me show you a little bit about it. First, let's, let's look over here to where we have layers. Notice how I have this layer here called Final Preview. This is gonna just, you're gonna have that on while you're working because it's gonna cover up some of the stuff that I'm gonna show you. So I'll go ahead and turn this one off so you can see what's happening below it. So you can see that all my artwork and my image area for the background, it goes past the actual area of the card. So this is what my card's gonna look like when it's all done. But while you're building the file, you need to have extra image area going out past the edge. That's called bleed. And um, I'll explain more what that means in a minute. And then you're gonna put all of your art below here. So I'm gonna give you this folder but it won't have all this stuff in it. This is my stuff here where I have all my social icons and my text and my logo and my little lizard mascot and stuff like that. And then I'll leave this background layer in here in case you wanna use a solid background. If you wanna put a photo in for your background, you can, but I'll leave this one in here. And you can just double click it, by the way, and change the color to something else if you want. Okay, so let's explain a little bit more. Let me close this. Let's explain a little bit more about what this, where the cut lines and what bleed is. So this extra area that goes across the, um, past the edge of where you're gonna cut your card, see how that's bigger? That area is called bleed. And basically it just means extra area that's gonna get cut off and thrown in the trash. And let me explain why you need that. So let me make another layer here just as an example. We're not gonna leave this one in here, but I'll just call this cut. So when you're done with your business card and we print them out, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have these little black marks like this. This is called crop marks. Basically that's just where your scissors are gonna line up to cut. And you'll see why we need this extra image area. So if I go here and let me pretend I'm the scissors and I'm gonna put my scissors there and I'm gonna cut here and go across. It's just showing you where your scissors are gonna go. You line up the scissors on those crop marks and you're gonna cut your business card out like that. So since you have that extra area there that's on the outside, all this right here, this is just trash. It's getting thrown away little strip of paper after you cut it out, and then you're just left with the inside right there. So when you're done cutting it, it'll look like that. Now, why do we have to have that extra area? Let me explain that better. So let's delete what I did on the cut. Let's say that you didn't have that extra image area, okay? You printed it out like this and you had no bleed, which bleed is extra image area, and you print it out like that. Let's say you go to try to cut it. Let me turn on your crop marks for you. We'll at least have your crop marks. Let's say that you were just a wee bit off. All right, that one was pretty good. Let's say the next time you went to cut it, you were just a tiny bit off. Notice how it's leaving like a little bit of a white area around the edge. And maybe this time you got it right on the line and it was perfect. But notice how when I blow it up, you see that there's a little white line. So you don't want that. If you have the bleed there, and you cut it out, you won't see that white line. See what I mean? So this final preview thing, it covers it up, but you can see it. it's okay that you were just a little bit off with your cutting. All that extra image area made it so that you had some, you know, area to make a slight mistake because nobody can cut perfectly. And if you printed it out like this, you would have to print, I mean, cut so perfectly. So it just makes it a lot easier for cutting it out. And it's important when you set things up that are going to a printer. Like let's say when we do our yearbook, you have to have that extra bleed area because when you send it to the printer, their machine might move the paper around and it might just cut and leave a little edge. So you should always have bleed area and then you should also have crop marks so that you can use them to line up your scissors, okay? So when you're designing this thing, I would say that you should leave this final preview um, layer on so you can see what it actually looks like. If you don't, let's say you're designing it and you have the final preview off, you might do something like have the logo up here on the edge like that, even though that doesn't look good, maybe you put it up there, but then when you go to have your cut, oops, you know, you had it outside the edge and you're gonna cut it. So it's good to design 
your card with this final preview logo um, layer on. That way you can kind of keep things inside. And remember, when you have something like text and a logo, don't place it too close to the edge. You want a little bit of space. This is called margins, how I have you know, some space around the edge. I don't have anything right on the edge. I mean, my lizard guy is not on the edge, but I don't mind where that gets cut. But you don't want to have something that has text really close to the edge. It just doesn't look good to have it like that. It could get cut off. So make sure you have a little bit of space, which is called margins. All right, so keep that in mind. And then also keep in mind all the visual hierarchy things that we talked about in the uh, before the lesson and how you have like your logo and your name bigger and bolder and what you do. And then maybe your contact info is smaller. Notice how I have some alignment here. So you have proximity, all those things that we discussed, those design principles. Keep that in mind when you're making your business card. All right, so once again, when you're designing this, let me revert it back on, you know, so you can see what it looks like, but make sure you turn it off too and that you're going outside the edge here so that you have some extra image area here. Let me just like lower the opacity so you can see. All right, so this area here is where it's gonna get cut off, but you're gonna have that extra image area there, the bleed, so that you can cut it without making a mistake. When you go to turn it in, I want you to turn it in with this off because this is how you're gonna print it. You're gonna print it with your art, everything in your art, um, folder on and you're going to have crop marks on. We need to print it with your crop marks so that when you cut it out you can see where you need to line up your scissors.